guys this is tasha welcome back to another vlog this vlog is a little different i'm opening this vlog up on wednesday today and i'm gonna end it on sunday but i just wanted to stop in and say hi i have a lot of stuff to do this week um so i just want to bring you guys along also chit chat with you guys about what i've been up to and everything like that it is so hot out here. Actually, I don't think it's just hot. I think it's just the sun is beaming so bright. But um, I have a few things um, to do this week. First of all, I went and got my lashes done, which is only my second time getting my lashes done. I went and got my lashes done on last week and they have been coming out, like shedding. So I'm gonna go get those fixed tomorrow. I do have a wax appointment. Um, today come on out here walking my dog i have a wax appointment today and i think i have a facial on sunday i mean no on friday now mind you like i told you guys i'm new to this area i've been here for a minute and i still haven't set up all my services yet so i'm excited to finally set up um some services um and get going i mean i have like a nail lady and you know all of that but like just some other services so um i'm excited so um i'm actually getting ready to go to work um i think i might come back and chat with you guys a little bit in the car so let me give you guys a little a little update i'm driving to let me give you a little update so i have had the busiest summer which is why i haven't been recording um i've been wanting to record and i just haven't had the time my summer has literally every single so i can only record on saturday and sundays basically i mean i could do others but i'm too tired i work full time y'all every weekend for me has literally been booked up and I just haven't had a chance to record so things are finally starting to slow down for me i did record that she and haul i that those clothes like i've had that stuff like for so long i hadn't worn it uh, most of the stuff i have not worn and i just was the, you know putting it off putting it off so um i am happy to be back i'm actually um going to get a new planner and plan out uh, my content for the um fall and winter let me tell you i like during the fall and winter i'm more productive i i can see that now like during the summer it's just too much to do with just everything family and you know i'm traveling back home all the time so i'm excited to finally get back into a routine let me just tell you guys this i have gained like five or six pounds and cannot get them off I actually lost some weight and gained it right back i have had the biggest struggle with being consistent so i gotta do something i'm like for some reason like when i before i moved here i was doing so well i had a routine um and i just think just being in a different environment i have not adapted to um this environment and i'm just not consistent um and also too i'm i keep doing these low carb or zero carb diets and i just think that it's just too much for me because i end up like binge eating carbs after going like five days with no carbs and you literally gain you do not keep the weight off like that you just gain it right back it's like when i do a when i do a low carb diet or a zero carb diet the minute that i lose the weight and go back or not even go back heavy but just start to introduce carbs back into my it i literally start gaining weight right away so i'm losing weight but it's not staying so now i am trying to come up with a different game plan i really think i know that i'm going to just go back to incorporating um exercise into my routine because that's what i was doing when i lost 20 pounds i was exercising so i think i'm going to go back to um exercising so yeah my clothes still fit thank god and like i know like as soon as i see myself get to a certain point i'm like i'll pull back but i really don't think that is healthy for me but um i have like all the resources to work out i have a gym where i live i also have a membership to a gym up the street from my job and i just gotta get myself back moving and back working out let me tell you last time i um, spoke to you guys on a vlog i told you that i was a little discouraged about my channel i'm feeling so much better about things um, my channel is actually doing so well um i am 
even closer to monetization. Um, some of the videos out there you, that everyone has been watching and it's just like my views have gone up significantly. So I'm so excited about that. And um, I'm just gonna keep pushing y'all. I'm gonna keep pushing. But anyway, that is it for now. I will see you guys in a little bit probably when we go for my wax which is at 12 15 i'm gonna take a lunch break and go hey y'all back in the car so headed to get a wax i don't know if i told you but i'm going to the european wax center which like i said is up the street from my house i mean for my job um but i've never been but here's the thing they told me um that it's a 15 minute session to get a full um brazilian wax front to back and i'm like I've not ne it's never been just 15 minutes so I'm really interested to see this um but I'm happy because you know I'm working so I'm just running out for my lunch or whatever and just to be able to run and get something like this done um on my lunch break I like it but I'm just like oh god I'm a little nervous I've never been um I had the same wax person for like years and so this is like starting over so y'all I am loving this lip what do you think this has been my new fave lip i got it from chanel like uh two weeks ago um i got it well i got it from neiman's but it's a chanel lip gloss and it basically stays on all day um you put it on and it stays on and then it has so it has the um lip color here which is like a lipstick it's a liquid lipstick and then it has the lip gloss that you can put on on top and what i love like usually if i get a lip stain or a lip color that lasts um like a long time it dries your lips out but this does not dry my lips out at all they have some other pretty colors so i'm gonna go and get some of those as well but anyway let's go ahead and get this wax Alright guys, I am all done. It literally took 15 minutes, but let me just tell y'all, it was painful. It's been a hot minute and oh it hurt and i didn't have like a whole bunch but it still hurt and they and this is another thing this was different they used the um the wax like they put the hard wax instead of the strip my lady from my old place used strips and I can tell you that the hard wax does not hurt as bad as the strips, but it still hurt. Woo! So let me show you what I got. I got a bag full of goodies. I mean, it wasn't free. Didn't you know how they get you, but I was super interested. So I got this um, ingrown hair serum right here she used this on me afterwards so I'm excited about this this was $32 and then the other stuff wasn't as bad I got a um, body wash for down there with aloe in it this was 16 and then I got a body polish for down there which I'm super excited about this everything what I, do, what I showed you is every day this is every other day but it's a body polish so super excited about it um, I love so I I guess they don't have time to be like super sweet because I felt like Lord honey like do we, don't we need to have a conversation first before you just go in but because they do it in 15 minutes um increments i guess she got right to it she's like let's go and i'm like okay 
and she did she was nice though she did talk me through everything she told me that i could not have my camera um in there which was fine because i wasn't going to take my camera in there anyway i mean i wasn't going to record the process but um she was really nice but she was straight to the point so i'm not used to that i'm used to a little bit more customer service or whatever but anyway it was still good i'm happy with the services i checked it out it looks really good so she did say you know no swimming and no this and no that and no other stuff for 24 hours so but yep that's it guys so i am heading back to work um i'm gonna run into walgreens first and then i'm headed back to work um to finish out the day and then we'll see what else we can get into hey y'all so happy sunday i opened the vlog on wednesday guys we went and got my wax and i got super sick so i have a sinus infection and i had to get on an antibiotic and steroid i wasn't feeling good so that thursday i did go get my lashes done see nothing major just a classic but after that i was like that's it i felt horrible so i did not vlog much um but so today is sunday my husband and i are headed out for the day so i'm going to um vlog today i, I know we are going to go shopping at the outlets um, I think it's the Philadelphia Premium Outlets. And then we're also going to go grocery shopping and some other running around. So I will definitely take you guys along with me um, to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and head on out. I just, I don't know if you can see my outfit, but it's so basic. I have one pair of shorts and a shirt. And then I'm just going to put on this little Tory Burch bucket bag. This is one of my favorite bags ever. And it's a crossbody, so I like the way that it, you know crosses or whatever and just my um Birkenstocks the black ones from Nordstrom anyway that's it y'all let's go ahead and head out all right guys so I'm just waiting for my hubby to get ready so I did want to tell you guys that I am on the hunt for some fall decorations um just like I want some pillows um for my living for my couches um and I want to like I seen this um really cute um fall flower arrangement it was so pretty and I want to try to recreate it. So uh, I want to go try to find that. I'm not sure if I'm going to find that today. I really wanted to go to Hobby Lobby, but they're closed. So I might just go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. I'm thinking about, I'm going to post this vlog today. And then I'm thinking about opening up another vlog on tomorrow. Because I really want to do, and I also want to um, decorate my office at work for the fall too. So um just not a lot but just a few things um so i feel like hobby lobby will have everything that i need so definitely want to do that and then y'all i'm super ready for christmas so it's my grandson's first christmas i told my daughter yesterday i was like you need to start shopping for your christmas tree she's like well he's only um a baby i'm like i don't care this is his first christmas so um, I'm going to be on the lookout for some stuff for her too, for her, um, Christmas tree. So this is her first, um, apartment and she doesn't have a thing. So can I wait to do that? Um, and then honestly, I don't have any, um, expectations at the outlets other than I need to get some bath and body work candles because I'm completely out when I do that, but just hanging out with hubby and, um, trying to recover and get myself back together get some fresh air. I mean, I was out yesterday. We drove back home. Um, we had a event at church, but I wasn't able to go um, because I'm allergic to the grass, like severely allergic to the grass. So I went over to my daughter's house, but I really just wanted to get out of the house. Um, so I did, um, but I didn't get any fresh air. I literally was in the house the entire time. Anywho, I am on the mend. I'm excited to get some air and to do a little bit of shopping. My husband was like, let's go to the outlets. I'm like, period, let's go. He might regret it, but it is what it is now. So I'm um, waiting for him to get ready and then we'll head on out.
it personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Very similar to the one that I saw online. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Oh, baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. of all the different colors it's definitely a fall thing i'm just like a sucker for cardigans though let me tell you also but it's 59 dollars. it has to be on sale like i need a discount on it in order to pull the trigger but i do like it what do you guys think all right so this is the next top this is cute it does feel um a little big it feels bigger than the other one it's an extra large the other one is an extra large too but i think it's cute i like it um i feel like it's too big like let me show you the back see how it's just it just is ill fitting and even on the when they were on the hangers i was like this one looks a lot bigger so i didn't think the other one was gonna fit but it did but what do y'all think about this one i mean i like the color but i mean i don't love it um and plus they're 39 dollars. i'm hoping for a discount even without a discount i'm getting the black and white one but um this is this one okay we'll see Take it personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me Alright y'all, so I am back from shopping we ended up getting some Jamaican food from this place at the outlets. I got a couple things I'm going to show you. Let me just show you hubby's food. I'm sorry, babe. That's his Jamaican food. He got whiting and he also got some jerk chicken. I got jerk chicken and curry chicken. So we had a really good time. Um, I, I, I did show you guys the shirt that I got. So I didn't get that sweater because it was not on sale. 
but I did get this one top here from the loft. It was on sale. It was originally $39 and I got it for $29, but I did get my Bath and Body Works, which is what I really, really wanted. So I was mad because none of the candles were on sale and I needed candles. Like I do not play about my candles. So um, I am getting ready for the fall. I told you guys that I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby this week. So I did find this wallflower plug-in from Bath and Body Works that I did get an original, just a plain one from there. And then they did not have any of my favorite scents. Um, I wanted Peach Bellini or the Watermelon Lemonade. So I just went with the Midnight Blue Citrus, which is really good. It smells very similar to um, the Peach Bellini. It has mango in it, but it doesn't, see, it doesn't match, but you know, it's, it has to smell good. So I got that, but I did get my Watermelon Lemonade candle. Y'all, fire, my favorite candle ever. So I got this one and then I also really love the um, Black Cherry Merlot candle. I love that one. So I got these two and I'm going to just wait until candle day to get candle wasted. I'm going to do a haul, maybe take y'all with me because I'm going crazy because I feel like I had enough candles to last me for a year, but my son and my daughter, they come and get my candles. So anyway, y'all, that is it for this vlog. I am so sorry I got sick. I, I wanted to tell you guys too that I didn't get my facial. Remember I told you we were go I was gonna take you guys along to get the facial? Well, that was scheduled for Friday morning. I felt awful, so I did not get my facial. So that's another day. Maybe one day next week I'll go. But anyway, y'all, hit that um, subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Also thumbs up this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you over in my next video.